Hello there. Welcome back to my studio. Um, you caught me working. Yes, I was working very hard. Um, oh, oh, what's this? Oh, hey, you know what? That reminds me. This is a very special episode of Studio Time because I have something very special to tell you. Special. This is my newest book. It's called What About Worms? An Elephant and Piggy-like reading book. I got to work on it with my friend Mo. I'm very excited to share it with you. This book is mostly about worms. Also tigers, but mostly worms. And I thought it might be fun in this episode of Studio Time to go meet some worms. Now I have to tell you, worms creep me out a little bit. They're all wiggly and you can't tell their tops from their bottoms. But you know, I think it would be fun to go learn about worms because when you learn about something that you're a little bit afraid of, usually you find out those things are pretty cool. So sometimes the best way to face your fears is to learn more. All right, how about we go and learn about some worms? Okay, here we go. Now, since we're gonna go meet some worms, we need to make sure we keep safety in mind. Okay, let's go meet some worms. I dig for worms. Do, do we see any worms? Worms? Hello? Anybody home? I don't see any yet. Hey Dad, what you doing? Oh, hey. I'm digging for worms. Worms like dirt. And this is dirt. What else do you know about worms? Oh, um, did you know that all worms are ambidextrous? That, mean? that means that they can use both their left and right hands. But they don't even have hands. Oh, uh, right. Um, well, what else? Uh, oh, worms have five hearts, which, uh, that means that, um, they have to write lots of Valentine's cards. How do they write Valentine's cards if they don't even have hands to write them? Stop asking questions. Hey, look, I found some worms, Daddy. What? I was uh, just planning on looking for worms. I wasn't actually planning on finding any worms. Can I see? Okay. Wow, it's a big one. It's very, very wiggly. Yes, they are wiggly. So wiggly. Gosh, that was fun. You know, it really was great to meet some worms and learn that they're not all... Ah, who am I kidding? Worms are still really creepy. But you know what? I brought some into my studio and I've decided to draw a portrait of them. Look at these worms in their natural habitat. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's draw a worm. So, worms are very wiggly and squiggly. That's because they are invertebrates. That means they don't have a spine. You'll see that I'm drawing lots of little bumps here on my worm. That's because worms are made out of lots of little sections called segments. So I'm going to draw these little segments in here. I think we should make this worm doing its job. We'll say it's munching on some dirt. Or actually, it's not dirt that they're munching on. They're munching on dead bits of leaves and plant stuff, um, rotting wood. They have a very important job. What they do is they dig through the soil and they find stuff, like I said, like old grass or old leaves or old wood. Um, and they eat that, and then it goes all the way through their very long digestive system, and they poop out fertilizer. And that fertilizer 
makes the dirt very happy so that flowers can grow and all kinds of other things. Did you know that worms breathe through their skin? Yeah, they don't have lungs. They breathe through their skin, which is very strange. There we go. A worm in its natural habitat. Now, if you'd like to draw a worm at home, again, they're just little squiggles. Not too hard to draw. You can do them in all sorts of poses. They could be out flat like this. Sometimes you can make letters with them. There we go. There's a worm and an owl. All right, now I'm gonna sign my drawing right here. Maybe I should sign it in worms. Let's give that a try. A little squiggly worm there. There's a, that's part of the R. We'll make another little squiggly worm right there. Another R. And there's a squiggly worm right there. You know what? This is gonna take forever. So how about instead of me signing my whole name in worms, I just put my initials, R H. There. Well, I hope you like my drawing. Wait a minute, where'd those worms go? Okay, phew, I rounded up all the worms. Now, let's go let these worms back in the wild where they belong. Okay, go back into the soil. <laughs> okay, all right, well, bye. Don't be afraid of tigers. Ew, look at all that slime. Thanks for stopping by the studio today. I really hope that you enjoy my new book, What About Worms? It's the seventh in the Elephant and Piggy-like reading series. All right, well, bye for now, everybody. There. I think that came out pretty well. Don't you, little worm? Everyone's a critic.